to jump center. BC's won five of the last six in this rivalry. Before that, Notre Dame had won six. Both didn't play a single second in the second half Wednesday in a loss against Miami. And Micah Shrewsbury was not happy with their effort, looking for a response. Open look, Knezny straight on for three. Elite Bay can play some bully ball, going to work on the freshman boot and the first points for the Eagles. Most of the time, the big's rotating over. You give your big a chance to get clean up on the offensive glass. And when you turn it over like that, you just put yourself at a disadvantage in matching up on the break. Kevin John on a face up on Quentin Post. And it starts from there. He knows this team will grow, they'll get more mature, and the offensive end, things will pick up. There's Devin McLaughlin who spins one out, got it back, and follows. Junior forward from Georgia. Countless turnovers, and when you don't expect it, you hadn't shown that all year, it catches you off guard when your team just does such a good job of taking care of the ball. McLaughlin sticks a three on the pitch back from Claudel Harris and a good start. Florida State did not have Primo Spears no. nor Cam Corrin in that first game at the Smith Center. Well, here in South Bend, it's BC by two, and Jaden Zachary adds to the lead with his first points. Third leading scorer for the Eagles, the veteran guard who is BC basketball in the words of his head coach. Can't connect. Zone of the offensive rebound. Roper to the corner, Knezny. Tied at 11. <laughs> Knezny knows there's no hesitation with him. Zona moves it for Shrewsbury. Again, an open look. Knezny misfires. Offensive rebound again. Knezny right back in for two. And Notre Dame leads. Roper on a drive, a little bit out of control. And here's BC down by two, coming up on six to go first half. Donald Hand Jr. off the bench, sticks a three. Burton around the corner. Shrewsbury on the drive, pulls up. Too strong. Another offensive rebound for Notre Dame. Knezny with two more, and he's up to 13. He's been scoreless as well, 0 for 3, including two attempts from long range. Back for Shrewsbury. First points. Great quick release there. Great job by Burton Fine to Shrewsbury. And a rivalry matchup dominated recently by Boston College. Five of the last six. Marcus Burton so good at that, getting to his spot in the mid range. That's his game. Uh, it's the only one, he's the second one he got to like that. And on cue, he knocked it down. Zachary again lost his footing. It finds Devin McLaughlin, who's been massive for BC in this game. He's up to 13. He's responsible for shooting or assisting. Shrewsbury. Well, you can see now he's conscious of trying to get other guys going. And as the, as the scoring around him picks up, then the game will be, become even easier for him. But now he's got to pick it up on the defensive end. They're doing a great job of trying to put him in the post. He was late getting out to Claude L. Harris, who knocks down his first shot of the day. He's six. Just past the midway point, second half. Burton driving dish. Shot fake Shrewsbury. Knocks it down. It's a great quick release by Shrewsbury. Side steps to get away from the defense. He gets it off. Knocks down his second three of the afternoon. Well, that was much needed for Notre Dame. Madsen moves it. Harris again. Answers. Claude Dell Harris. The offense is picking up. Guys are getting hot from behind the three-point line there. Shrewsbury knocks down one, and BC comes back. Almost a victim of friendly fire there by his own teammate, forcing him to travel. Like me and you, bleary-eyed at the hotel. Here's Harris on the run out. Plays it in. Claudel Harris starting to cook. He's up to nine. What'd you see here and why is he out of the game? Well, he tried to do that early in the year. He got away with it and Shrewsbury told him he wanted to stop doing it. You can see him in the background immediately going to the bench. That was a no-no. He stopped. You know, when, you, when you're when you in this situation and you do something wrong when the coach and he takes you out, it's kind of like a, a kid when you... <laughs> there it is. He's making himself... He's getting involved in this game. Reminding coach, they can't play without him. I mean, just a great job there, running through the passing lane. If he would have dumped that, he would have brought... Burton off the bounce. Harris stayed right with him. Kelly in transition. Lays it in. Kelly and McLaughlin, 
The five for Earl Grant with Quinton Post having fouled out. Harris came up short. McLaughlin, the offensive rebound and stick back. Great job by McLaughlin. Using it for a dribble handoff there. Get him That's going it. downhill. With Kelly chasing. Burton to the cup. Finishes and a foul. Come off the dribble handoff. Just turns the corner. Jumps in. Into Zachary. Defended by Ives. Zachary goes spinning. On the step through. Gets the roll. Jaden Zachary. Dog coming. Just set the back screen. And he pops. He gets it. And spins and gets the angle. Would be the first time ever Boston College has defeated Notre Dame four straight times. Shrewsbury hits it. Gets it down to three with 1.8 left. Davis to put it in. Looking for somewhere to go. Davis into John for the tie. No!